So, before we did any work on this, um, this thing was just filled with sludge, and when you put your hand under the water, like an inch below water, you couldn't see it. I mean, it was horrific. I'm really pleased to come here. And, I mean, you can see all the way through to the bottom. Water quality is really good. There was a couple things in the contract uh, to where all their pumps had to be working. They still need to replace a couple pumps, so it's not even working up to par, and it's still working what we did. We installed a constructed wetland filter in here and some intake bays, and that added a bunch of skimming and biological mechanical filtration. The water quality is insane. The other cool thing, and I'm sure this hasn't happened in forever because there were old koi in here, is there's a ton of fry or baby fish. And the reason being because of the, the wetlands and the intake bay that we constructed, um, all the eggs get caught up in the plants and everything. And there's true ecology going on here. So they finally gave us the go ahead to put in the two additional pumps. We're gonna fix their, their autofill system that wasn't working. It's super cool to have something that was built over 20 years ago and they could never figure it out. And for us to come in and create something that's absolutely working. So, I'm super stoked. So this is an intake bay. There are some uh, structural issues with this. We didn't build this, this was built 20 years ago. So it's losing some water. We need to get the water level a little bit higher in general. So there's actually a way we can, we can harness some runoff. Since we have powerful filtration with the constructed wetlands, uh, we're gonna be able to divert some of that water in here to keep the water level up a little higher. And that's gonna make everything work even better. We've now created a low maintenance situation with excellent water quality. We put lights in here. So this is something that they're actually gonna be able to enjoy. Wants to be up another six inches of water. Water levels up more. You can see the leaves that have come in here, and that's doing its job. It's, it's skimming, but it's not doing a good enough job because the water's clearly getting in here. So we need, we need to fix the water level issue and have this whole thing flooded right here. That's also going to just add that much more of the biological filtration. But there's a gigantic submersible pump that they didn't want to pull the trigger on because it was just a big dollar item. They're finally like, yeah, go for it. And that's going to create the current we want also. There are jets that were already in here, so we were able to utilize those. Also, we don't want to hear that super loud pump, and that's because it's sucking in air. What we need to do is switch those two pumps out, get the water level right, and yeah, this thing's cool. It's already working amazing. Yeah, autofill's right there. I'm, I'm hoping there's going to be enough pull from the intake bay once we correct the, the water level situation, but I'm not convinced. We could put one of those low voltage power heads over here and create current going straight across into that intake bay. That's the thing, it's like we, we have so much runoff on the streets that goes straight to the ocean. Um, in a lot of areas where there's lakes, they've realized it, it was just an absolute detriment to the ecology of the lakes from all the runoff from the streets and stuff. And so they've created rain gardens and other uh, ecological ways of 
dealing with the runoff. So it goes through there first and actually gets filtered out with the plants and all that stuff. Right. So well, you, Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Usually when you see that, you think, oh man, they need to get in there and clean that out, but it's actually cleaning the water. Yep. Can you get this way? Yeah. Come on, let's go for a hike. Either way is if we harnessed it at the, at the end of the culvert, all this algae is actually helping to, to filter this water out, taking up nitrates and phosphates and stuff. So um, if we get it at the end of the run and divert it in, then... It's better than doing it at the front. Yeah. You can check out this water quality. It's beautiful. Look at that koi. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice looking koi. Yeah. What a lot of people don't understand is they'll, they'll see a, they'll see when the pond's first built and then they'll see a little bit of algae. They'll be freaking out. Oh, there's something wrong. Right. You know, it's going to kill the fish. And it's like, well, it's a pond. <laughs> Things grow. I mean, there's like hundreds of thousands of different species of animals and bacteria and all kinds of stuff in your pond. It's, it's amazing to resurrect something. Like this has been a cesspool. It was this thick as sludge. People just didn't even come down to this area right here. This is a beautiful property, it's completely unutilized. They had several companies over the years working on trying to come up with a solution. That's really cool, that's, that's why I love this stuff. It's just, it's utilizing biological principles in nature and, and, and simply just doing it the right way. And um, I'm excited to do phase two and get everything completely dialed out, but uh, not even be at phase two yet and, and, and see this, it's, and it's super cool. So, um, there's another intake bay right there. So what that's doing is more skimming. It creates a really easy place to take the debris out and uh, get rid of it. But once again, it's adding that much more biological filtration, ultimately keeping a lot of stuff from settling on the bottom. We're missing the jets from that external pump. So this wetland filter, everything is upwelling and there's an immense amount of surface area for um, bacteria to be growing in here. Nitrifying bacteria, heterotrophic bacteria, so you're getting organics trapped in here, getting digested by heterotrophs, roots, the plants are helping propagate a lot of this bacteria as well. Since we're skimming top layer of water, which has more oxygen, that's necessary for nitrification to occur within the wetland filter. We're getting nitrification in the intake bay as well. Yeah.